Just a matter of waiting for the dial to come into number one, then I'll engage. Is that? Go on. Just catching. So not that off. No way this back out. Wind it back manually. Wind it back in. Wait for that to go back away into number one. Should be a while. I think you can operate at the opposite number, I'm not quite sure. I'll just wait. Yeah, I'm sure you can use the opposite one, but I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm looking a bit rusty. to come along. Let's try number three, yeah? Just to see what happens. I'm intrigued. I seems to be cutting it in the right place anyway. Back off. Out, in, for number one to come along. Oh, this is working out just fine. Engage. And you get the idea, anyway. So let's back it out. And forward. Advance. I'm advancing 10 thousandths at a time. Just wait for number 3 to come along. Just put a vial, I'm done a mess. And engage at 3. Back up to the action. that off, wind that back, add ten thousandths to that, back round to that, should be number number one again, I took that long, obviously, engage, back. Looks like I should have given it a bit more though. It's just taking a tiny bit off. I know what it is. I can't concentrate when I'm under with the lathe, so just turn the camera for a minute. Okay, we're all done. What we're looking for is 20 threads per inch with a pitch guide. So it's hard to focus. Let me put it off. Let me pull it off the lathe. Get ready. Let's see what we've got. No white background. That's better. Look at that in the original. So, 
Because it's not much better, is it? There we go. There's the original. That's what I was trying to achieve. Not bad. So, a quick look at the fitch pitch guide, the thread pitch. Yep, 20. See that's successful. Up it is, there you go, one width of thread. A quarter inch, 20 threads per inch width of thread. Happy days. Let's just hope it fits with the guy. I'm just going to finish it off now. But that's another tail. I'm back. Don't switch off. This is a, a week after update. I wasn't all really convinced of what I cut was actually the right thread. And I was a little bit worried that the guy get all the way to Wales and try it in his mower and it didn't fit. So I went and splashed out on a die from eBay. It's a new old stock, slightly stained, as you can see. And it is a, I don't know if you can read it, BSW, British Standard Whitworth. Quarter inch diameter and 20 threads per inch. And I guessed right. Lucky me. So that's the original thread. Let's see what I cut. If anywhere near. You see it? I'll tell you what I've cut. I've only gone and cut the right bloody thing. It fits. <laughs> What's the chances of that? So I look a bit tighter, but I did tell you that I left a few thousands on, didn't I? So it's a lovely tight fit. It's actually a better fit than the original, which was probably a bit slack we were. Yes. Ta -da. That's a pretty damn good fit. So there you go. That is cutting a whip with thread on the Colchester lathe. Right. Don't switch off yet, because I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to finish off machining this. I'm going to machine it down to the right width and then I'm going to mill a little X on. But I'm not going to go through all that because the video is getting a bit long now. I'm just going to show you the finished job. So, probably go to a star wipe or something like that and we've got the finished job. But in reality, it's another hour of machining. <laughs> See you in a bit. I'll do. I was going to set up the milling machine and mill a hex on the end of the bolt. But I haven't got a rotary table, is one thing I need to buy. So in true Krista Bodge style, <coughs> I filed a hex on the end. And there's a finished piece. In doing so though, in, do in filing a hex, on the end, I've now invented a completely new bolt that no spanner fits. <laughs> I'm only kidding. <laughs> Seven sixteenths fits it handsome. So there's a bit of bodging for you. So one finished mount field exhaust mounting bolt from Krista Bodge. Thanks for viewing and come again. Happy days. Ugh. <sighs>